Welcome to the Cups of Consciousness show. I am Alea Dow, your host. I'm a doctor of oriental medicine, a sound healer, the author and founder of the Seven Cups of Consciousness. I have produced nine sound healing albums and have recorded over 2,000 meditations online. I am an energy practitioner and help people shift their consciousness using their energetic fields. And this show is all about using your energetic fields to shift your consciousness as well as exploring energetic concepts that help you create a more empowered and connected life. This episode is an energetic session that explores concepts, energetic practices, and protocols that are similar to a prayer, which help you transform particular aspects of your life. When you listen, recognize that some part of you is using your energetic fields to shift your vibration, which in turn shifts your consciousness, your behaviors, your beliefs, how you react and respond. You might even go into an altered state, so use caution if you're driving or doing something that requires a focused mind. With all of this work that I present, remember that it is your energy shifting you in your own unique way. That way you stay in control and empower with your process. So take a deep breath in. Pull yourself into your line of light and explore your inner terrain in a safe and supported space. Let's dive in. The layers around healing twin energy. So if you were in the womb and you had a twin and that twin didn't make it because of contracts, agreements, whatever circumstances ensued, there's lots of layers and things that can happen with the twin energy in the womb. And when I ask what's the best way to approach these layers of twin right now in this moment, I hear Go back in time prior to you, your body, twin, twin's body being in the womb and redo how the two of you agree to be in the womb so that there is no fight. The twin is not taking your resources, which would then potentially negatively impact financial resources or just resources in your life, relationships in your life. Also, too, the twin might might have been absorbed by your body, and then that would cause autoimmune um, disease. The twin might feel rejected, and then your body would empathically feel the twin's rejection and walk around with this constant state of rejection, victim, never feeling enough. So you get you can get uh, negatively empathically impacted by the twin. There can be a positive empathic empathic impact, but by going back in time prior to your arrival and your body's arrival and the twins arrival in the womb and setting it up in a healthy way that then negates all of the dissonance. We invite you to take a deep breath in to pull your energy and awareness into your divine line. We invite your body to the nature spirit to use its inhale to pull its energy and awareness into its divine line. To use its exhale to ground and anchor into its inner river. We invite you, soul rider, at the level of your higher self, your body to visit yourself in teams. Your twin, their body to visit yourself in in teams. To work with the energetic fields and the guides to go back in time prior to your arrival in the womb. Your twin's arrival in the womb. It's like your prep station. And if you didn't have a twin in this incarnation, invite your body to reference when it did have a twin that is still negatively impacting your body now to sit across from that twin or all of the twins your body has ever experienced in all lifetimes if you want to go full throttle. Like this big space, big room. And then as you create that healing space prior to your arrival in the womb in this incarnation and the twin sitting across from you in that space, we invite you, soul rider, at the level of your higher self, your body to visit yourself in teams, the twin at the level of their higher self, body to visit yourself teams, to bring in guides, advisors, counsel, to encircle both of you and to explore how to ride together 
in the womb for the appropriate moment in time, for the appropriate period of time, that positively impacts you and them. That there is no stealing of resources, there's no absorbing of their energy. It's the most empowered, beautiful, clean, connected, but in a healthy way, experience where you don't have to be alone for the first two or three months on planet Earth. Your body doesn't feel alone. Where there's a sharing of appropriate energetic information. Where there is an appropriate anchor that the twin places that then enables the twin, body, deva, nature, spirit, to have an appropriate experience in an appropriate dimension that's non-physical. So a lot of the times twins will come in because they don't need to have a physical dimensional experience, but they do want to have an experience in another dimension. And so there's this conscious prep happening in the prep room between you and your twin, setting up vibrational grids and fabric that support you and your body, your body and your twin, body's twin, your team's in a healthy co-creative relationship in the womb for the first few months. There we go. And just hold space for a ton of prep to happen so that when it comes time for the twin to release, the twin takes all of its energy with it, all of its resources with it, sends you appropriate energetic information. You've sent appropriate energetic information. There's this beautiful, loving, gentle completion of that phase. And as you, Soul Rider, in your body, prep with your twin in the prep room, hold space for that to complete. And then when it feels complete, ripple and reflect that agreement, that fabric, those grids, that way of holding self, those contracts to you in the womb, to your twin in the womb, recalibrating the vibrational experience, holding space for your body to be calibrated for its own DNA, its own immune system, its own sound, its own timing, its own rhythm, its own essence, its own light, not the twins. Here we go. Good. And breathe. Rippling and reflecting that through the time spiral continuum. Recalibrating, cleaning the tunnel of light, the back of the neck. Updating all of your grids, all your reference points, a ways in which you and your body perceive in the womb holding space for the twin at the level of their higher self and body divas higher self to reference the appropriate dimensions where they can anchor and have an appropriate vibrational experience that supports their growth and evolution in a conscious and empowered way, calling upon their guides, their advisors, their helpers, a support team for them to support them in this process, for them to be clean and clear in the realm where they are now expressing themselves. Taking a deep breath in, and right now you might even just imagine your twin on another floor. Maybe this planet, maybe another planet, depending. Having a vibrational experience, spiritually growing, evolving, cultivating more self-love, more connection with their essence, amplifying their light, amplifying their light of their spark, being fulfilled by the light that flows within them. You're witnessing them and helping them awaken to a different vibrational way of being. There we go. Good. Ripple and reflect. Balance and stabilize. Holding your energy and awareness in this present moment. So rider, body, bringing your energy and awareness from that prep room to the now. Updating your grids, all your reference points, all ways in which you perceive. Taking it. You have been listening to the Cups of Consciousness show with me, Alea Dow. Receive a free month of the Cups of Consciousness. Go to sevencupsofconsciousness.com. When you get your free month, you will get five cups a week for four weeks. 
You'll also receive access to a live Tall Cup of Consciousness session. Feel free to review the show. Thank you so much for listening, and we'll see you next time. Aho.